Hey, what's up? Today we're in Konoha Village for a new tutorial that I'm gonna about to show you on how to enter new scenes using a trigger. So it basically looks like this. Um, um, we're playing as Kakashi, as you can see, and when you enter the trigger, it, it prompts you to enter Kakashi's home. And when you click the button you assigned, uh, you enter a new scene, which is Kakashi's home. It's a really simple thing to do. Um, basically, you set up a trigger. Um, load scene on trigger I call it like that you set the box the collision that it has on is trigger you can disable the mesh render so you don't see the box you just walk in and it appears and you also have to go to game object UI create an image or text you can use whatever um, and it will automatically create a canvas and I called it enter so once you once you go to you might uh, when you create it you're not gonna see it immediately you gotta go to 2d mode and then click double click on the enter the text that you made or whatever um, you you the text is gonna be here in the center you just drag it down until this um, how do I say this these blue things appear you just drag it down on the center and on the anchors you click uh, the presets you click down so um, we use these anchors so when you um, switch the screen ratio it doesn't get screwed up and it always stays in the center so if you change the down one or the vertical or the horizontal one it also stays in the center uh, once you've done that you also need a script that you're gonna assign on the uh, the trigger which is I call it long trigger load level the screen is available on my github it's in the description the script is pretty simple we have a, a game object which is UI object which is the text that appears when you enter the trigger the a public string which is where you type the name of the level um, on the start function we say that the GUI object is the disabled because we don't want to see the object immediately only when we're in the trigger and when void when we we are in the trigger so when we enter it and we, when we stay in it you, is this can also be on trigger enter but I like to use on trigger stay collider other this checks if the tag that collided is tagged player if the object that collided is tagged player GUI object dot set active true uh, we want the GUI object to set active to be active so we can see the press E and if the GUI object dot active and hierarchy is true and input I get button use so uh, basically when we enter the where when we're in the trigger we want to see the text but we don't want to switch the scenes immediately so the GUI object is true where when we're in the trigger and when we exit it, the GUI object is false but while we're in the trigger and while we can see the GUI object while it's enabled or is active in hierarchy is true and we click input get button down use you're gonna have to go to your input settings and describe what uses which I'll show you how to do later we want to application load level to load the level which we described by the string so go into your input settings edit input settings let me just find the project settings input um, make uh, if it's for example 22 19 17 whatever make it uh, change the size to one more so for example if it's 19 set it to 20 and a duplicate of the last one will appear you change the name to equip use whatever but in this case since in the script it says use you're gonna want to change it to use and the positive button is E you can change the positive the button which you want to click to whatever so when you click E it's it's gonna happen you put the script on the trigger you on the level to load you type the name of the level you want to load to so for example my level is called uh, indoor which is the level you saw before um, which is this level and the Kakashi song which is on the beginning of the video but before you you can't only type the name you have to go to file build settings these are the levels that are in your game so put both both of the levels inside so indoor you just get it and drag it over here but I already have it so I'm just gonna keep it like that I'm gonna delete this one you just click delete and the testing scene day is the level that we have over here so you have to also get it and drag it over here you can also put add open scenes 
and uh, yeah I guess that's it so thanks for watching and if you have any questions leave it in the comments like the video if you liked it and subscribe for future videos thanks bye